Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it would be ideal if we could have something a little bit faster running up and down the road with, but at the moment we will stick with the tractor. We're not going to go and spend a load of money on a truck just yet despite the fact that I would really really like to let me just stop that one a second because yeah I thought so uh, I want to go there there we go right now start that one up again go in there and off you trot and there's the straw coming out right brilliant so that one is going to go and harvest wheat from this field in here. I don't know how well it's going to get on with it, but I'm hoping it can sort of do some. We will... Let's just make sure it can get round the outside edge of the field before we do anything else. What are you doing now? Okay, I don't really know what that was for. But it's still going at the moment, so we'll not ask questions. I think that's going to be our safest thing, is just not to ask any questions, and we'll let it keep going. Just bring that back, and... Well, I'm not bringing that back. The, the hired help is doing that. Is it going to get around that corner okay? Okay. He's got around that fine. He's, he's, he's able to do that bit. And we should be able to go and pick that up as well. So we shouldn't have any trouble with that. This up here. Getting around the first corner isn't the problem. The problem is sort of going past next to the shed. That's the bit that it kind of struggles with. Doesn't seem to like it. Because it's trying to line itself up with the outside edge of the field up there. Just a little tiny, just a little bit too soon. And so it scrapes the edge of the shed, except that it hasn't done that. Excellent. Right, so we can leave you just to carry on and do what you're doing. And we can go and get this one. And the great thing about these Draper headers, which I particularly like, is you don't have to worry about any kind of header trailer going with them. We can just do it like this. So we bring you over to there. We stop you like that. We unfold the combine first and we bring that one on round like this and then we swing right round and we grab hold of this header and that one I'm going to do two passes along this bottom end of the field I'll pick you up like that so now i got to fold up the header that's the first thing that's got to happen so that goes in all the way around there the draw bar went somewhere I don't know there is a drawbar in there somewhere. I'll put that one out like that. And then I will come up here like this. Uh, that is already got the straw walkers. We didn't have the, the straw choppers aren't on there. We, we don't have any straw chopping going on. And this is a 10... No, it's not. It's a... What is this? This is a 9 meter header, isn't it? Draper Stream 900. Yeah. 9 meters. So I bring you over to here, and what I'm going to do with this one, I'm not using the AI extension on this, just going to do that. Standard AI, and we're going to go running straight across the bottom end here, like this. We'll probably still be able to use our new rake and rake this up into a bigger swath if we want to. I'm not a hundred percent sure if it actually I think it will. It has certainly put the like the two lines together into one line. It won't have any problem doing that. Whether it'll do any more than that, I don't really know. And the other combine is now full. Right on the end of that row there, perfectly. So we'll... Actually, I'm just going to leave you go for a second because I just want to... I'm going to watch this one in a second. We're going to get this one over to the end of the row. 
and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to drive over here, and we're going to send it off down there. It's very important that we get this lined up correctly. And then once I've done that, because I could always do it up from this side, it not really matter which side we head on up, but that's already on 27%. Like, despite the fact that we've got a bigger combine and we've got a bigger grain tank on this one, it's still going to fill up pretty quickly on account of the much wider header on it. So, keeping the combines running is going to be just as much of a struggle now as it was before, I think. I think it's going to make a big... It does mean it will get through the harvest faster. That is one good thing about it, is the harvest will happen quicker. So we'll get you over and we'll get this small combine unloaded first and then I'll run over to the big combine and we can start unloading that one. Um, I'm going to let this one go round this field probably another half dozen times. While you unload... Oh, I see. He's um, just finishing off the, the row right there. You're only on 50% at the moment. That's all right. 1700 in there that one is emptying you're getting close to the end up there I don't want to be stuck here all right we'll get to the end of the row up here and then the other combine how far forward are you gonna go you're gonna go right up there okay you stop there a second and I will go over here. That combine is now starting to move. So I can get out of the way. I'm just going to move over here a little bit. I'm not going to go very far. I'm just going to drive over to the middle of the yard just there. And then I will go straight back to this combine. I should have enough space in the grain tank to do two passes across this top end. That's what I'm hoping should have enough necessarily mean i will have enough space but i'm hoping i do i'm gonna need to help it at the other end is all i'm thinking i don't think it's gonna be able to cope with doing this bit by itself but there's our brand new combine working in the field and looking pretty snazzy while he does it must be said 80 percent 81 he's possibly going to be able to get to the other end of the field again before we need to empty him out so i'm going to see if he can cope with the complexities of turning around on his own some and i'm going to race this tractor all the way down there so that i can get another ten thousand liters of grain it is a good job that this one's got a big engine on it it's not the most powerful still like although he is getting up to the 50k but He's still, like, he seems, he does still seem a little bit slow in places. And I'm kind of, like, a little bit questioning how quickly he can get down to the restaurant and back. The reason I bought this tractor was because he was fast. That's why I wanted the tractor, because I wanted something speedy. Very, very speedy. Let's go, I'm going to go that way. And 98, 99. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He did it. He did do it. Only just, but he did do it. Let's turn off those beacons a second. And we will whiz around like this. I'm going to just open him out there. So we can have a look. We've got a nice bit of space for the spout. That I do like. And then I'll put the spout away like that. We're down to 85% capacity on our tank now. So I will bring you over like this and then line you up and we're just going to leave him going working up and down this side of the field so I go like that start you up and I need to get you under that come on I thought I'd press the button for the um, cruise control he does, because it's standard height help, he does slow down quite a bit on his way up across the field, which is good. So we can bring him in like, oh, he's, he's, he's too late. He's going to stop. It's too late. It's too late. That means he's not going to start up again until I go to 80%. 
there. I'm below 80%. It was literally seconds in it. Stay right here. Let him go on a bit further. And he'll start bringing that one out. Bring out that spout. And then I can run along underside him like this. And we can take off the rest of this grain. At least he sticks out a decent bit from the side of the header. We're not like hugging the side of the header. That's really, really annoying when that happens. And I also appreciate the speed that this one unloads the tank as well. The other Russell Mash is very slow when it's unloading the tank. It just seems to take forever to go and do it. This one seems to chuck that grain out with a much greater speed, which is also really good. It means that we can sort of get a move on and get things happening. Um, I don't know why you're trying to drive into my trailers, so I'll go around here instead. Just avoid you. We don't really want that happening. Now, this one is on 90%. It's coming across the top there. I'm actually going to go in here first. And I'm just going to unload the little tiny bit that's in here. There's 1,500 litres in there. That's probably not the best way to do it. Let's go back a bit. Did I put 1,500 litres in? Or did it just chuck it on the floor and get rid of it? I don't know if it went into... I have no idea if that actually went into the trailer properly or not. I think it did. But I'm not sure. As we'll just have to hope that it did actually do it correctly. Now, you come over here. So I want to take that one like that. It's on 99% right now. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to start that one there. And just take up that little tiny bit that's there on the ground. And then put this one out. And I'm just going to sit here. And I'm going to unload that into there. We'll go and have a look at the other one. He's doing all right at the moment. Well, we're going to need to go and get the rake going in a minute. Actually, yeah, I suppose we, we, we won't worry about it just yet. So that's 33% on one pass across the field. And it's a full pass all the way so we should in theory be able to run all the way down the field and then all the way back up again and be on 99 percent kind of hoping that that's the case because what that'll mean is we can then get all of that uh grain we, we won't have to back the combine around anywhere on and i won't have to drive in the field either i i do prefer it if i don't have to drive in the field it makes life a lot easier it looks tidier at least bring you over this way now that one up there you can see is already on 51 percent but if it gets to the end of the field and turns around i'm not going to be able to do anything with it until he's gone all the way back again and he, he does something similar so i want to bring you here turn that one off and i want to press h like that so we've got standard hired help on this now just to finish off this last little bit Run that through there. I'm thinking that we'll get the little fence on the rake. It should be able to cope with it. And then uh, the stayer will be able to use that one to start getting the straw in off the fields once we've progressed a little bit. But I, these combines here, I'm not really going to be able to just leave them working in the field for very long in between um, unloading them. So, like, that's... Whilst it would be nice if that was an option, I don't think that is going to be an option for us. Let's get you moving here now. And I will go over and see that combine. He's on 75%. So even if he doesn't get right to the end of the field, he's going to be pretty close to the end of the field. Helper E has a nearly full grain tank. I don't think it's going to do it. Looking at this. Let's have a look. I reckon he might get to the... I, I, that, was, that was my original thought. Was I thought that he might just make it to the end of the field before he needed... But he's, he's definitely not. He's on 98% right now. There is no way he is making it to the end of the field before he stops. He's now completely full. So what I'll do here is get in a bit 
tighter like that. And I can take some grain out of there. Is that going to take it low enough? 80. Yes. Right. So I'll just keep going. There. He's emptied that one out completely. He's on 78%. So he can keep going now. Then he'll turn round and then I will ride along beside him just to empty out the rest of that tank. We get the other combine going in a small field across the way there. And we're not far off of our first full load that we got to take down to the restaurant. And we are getting, how much are we getting? We're getting 1,232 per thousand liters so every thousand liters we get 1200 euros for it which means that this first load right here at 42,000, we get 1.2 times 42 which so a fifth of this um what is a fifth of 42,000? as eight roughly uh so we we get about 50 grand we get about 50,000 euros per double trailer load that we take down. So that's going to take us up to 180,000 euros. And one more trailer load after that is going to take us to 230. And another trailer load after that is going to take us to 280. So we will be able... And then we've also got the straw to come off the fields as well. So we're going to be able to buy the cattle fields... And because I want to buy not just the cattle yard, I want to buy the cattle, you know, like buy the, the small field beside it. And I want to buy a bit more besides, you know, maybe a, a couple of cows and stuff. Uh, we're also going to need to buy a mower in order to be able to start feeding them. So we've got a few expenses that we're going to need to fork out for to start with. Not loads, but there are a couple. Now, two and a half thousand liters of space in here. I don't think I've quite got that. Let me bring you over this way and stop you there a second. And you're whizzing off across the field in fine fashion. I've already got a 1,000 litres in here. Let me just get that little tiny bit. I do wish it wouldn't leave little tiny bits. It is so irritating when it does that. And I'm going to do... Well... I'll do a pass along this bottom end of the field here. I don't think I need to do very much more than that. Just, I think one pass would be enough. And then we'll worry, uh, we'll, we'll sort of just get things going. So if I, if I do a single pass along the bottom end, and then I can start running up across the field up there, I will get that one to go underneath it, and I'll do a single pass along the top end. I don't even know if I need to do that. I think the top end might be alright without doing any need to do any changes at all no special turns no nothing you on this side though you go up to that point and then I stop you like that and then I bring you round over to here like this and I go there right off you trot and then I take this one, and I'm going to go and follow that combine there. I know the bigger, actually no, the bigger combine is only on 40%. It is catching up, but at the moment it's fine on 40%. So this one here has got the 2,000 litres that I'm going to want in this trailer. We're going to struggle to get it into this trailer going along the side of this field right here. There's not a lot of space here to be unloading. There's a big ramp there on the side. So I can get some into the trailer before we get... Oh, actually, I might be able to go all the way through that. Yes, I can. It's not the best way to be doing it like this. But I am at least getting it into the trailer. And that's all that I really care about right now. I just want to get this unloaded into the trailer. If I can get just another 100 litres. Yes, excellent. Fantastic. Bring you back up here a little bit. Ooh, whoa, 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 and that one. Right. Now, I will do a pass along here. Like that. I'll start it. I'm just going to manually do that one then. I'm not going to do any more than that. And then I'm going to start it working down that side of the field. 
And then I'm going to have to scamper off to the sell point and get rid of that grain. Uh, the other option, of course, is that I don't scamper off to the sell point and get rid of the grain just yet. The other option is that I wait. Now, that's 47, that's 42,000 litres in there. What have we got in the way of just trailers? I could get another one of those and we could have a couple of them running together. I could get, say, a couple of these. There's 48,000, there's 45. Uh, Joskin, it's 47,000. That one there is 52,000 litres. Uh, Anna Burger, right there. Um... That one's not designed for grain. Is that the actual rear tip up track? No, that's not, is it? Annaberger Field Liner. Oh, so that's the one, the potato, except that that one's not for potatoes. Right, well, anyway. Uh, that trailer right there, again, is not meant for grain. And then I'm kind of like off into mod territory here. So, I mean, what mods have we got? Maybe we could look at a mod. I got the Aperion by Stevie here, which I suspect has got a enlarged. It's, it's not a big extra capacity. I think I'd struggle to pull that trailer, to be honest. With our little tractor that we got, I think that that would be a bit hopeful. So, the tractor that we've got... We could possibly go with this one. And there's not a lot of difference. And that's 55 grand to do that upgrade. There, 48,500. This one's 52,000. But honestly, that compared to our tractor, and this is the wrong sort anyway. This It's... Oh, no, it's not. That is a grain trailer. So that appearing in there, 65,000 litres. It would actually take the grain in this one we could do it but i don't really think that that is going to go very well with our tractor i think our tractor would struggle to pull that so um yeah the the only other option is that we try and buy the frith truck and we go with that before we oh actually how much is that frith truck I know that I've got vehicles parked up, but this this is a bit of a decision that we want to make pretty quickly. Uh, so the Frith cab there is 115,000. I know that's underpriced for the strength and so on that we get from it, but that's 115, and we've bought it, and we've already got the money for that right now. I've actually got the money for that sitting in my bank account. Uh, then trailers over here, those Frith trailers that Ducky made us. Overaxle chassis end tipper. 72,000. That's 70 grand for that one. And the graphics on this, this is the other graphics. That's the other graphics option. And I, pref I personally prefer, I like this trailer right here. And then you've also got this one, the A trailer. Over axle tipper. And that graphics were that one. Now, what I'm thinking is I want to have one of those, 73,000. And the end tipper, that's the one where the over axle i think that's where the the tipper bit is in the middle and then the end tipper i think is the tipper bit is up at the front something like that i can't, I can't remember now um graphics yeah never mind that one uh the over axle one so i've got two, two over axle ones Rather than having this one here, this small one. Oh no, it's not the guards that I'm after. We've got colour, rubber, chrome. We'll go with the colour. The graphics there. Rather than going with the small one here, what I'm kind of thinking is I go with two of these. And over axle tippers. So I go with that one right there and I take the graphics that he's got there on that one. 
that goes on one of them we put a dolly on it and we have another one of these so we have two of these with dollies at 260,000 each that little one there is 140,000 we just get two 260 we don't need a second one immediately we just go with one of these so this is my favorite design of the two I like that one and then we get the other one we'll hook on behind it so we have both versions um, 260,000, so 73,000 right there for those colors. And then the truck itself is there as 115,000 cabin guards, wheel setup. We'll leave all of those as they are right now. Oh, wait, there's only one, there is one thing that we want. Wheel set up. Color bumper, cab config. There, detail, black bonnet, stock, detail. We, we, we want the, the frith ginger bit on the side. Uh, so that one's 115,000 for that one. And so it's about 180,000 we're going to be buying, spending all together to get these. Ooh, wait. There was one other thing that we could do. No, oh, in here. Go to the trucks. There, you. You've got that hitch, so I can use this one to tow the two trailers that we've got down. I know that I've still got to wait for it to come back, but this is a 600 horsepower pulling machine that does 100k. This is the bad boy that we want. So we want to go in here a minute, and we want to go cab there. I want that design on it. The main color in here, right, the main color doesn't change anything. Where's the pink? It's, it's literally that little tiny bit on the front there. So I'll just leave that as white. Rim color design. That's just the bit on the back. So we'll do it like that. We will buy... Yes, for 115. That leaves me with 14,000 right there. So I'm going to take these trailers now. Back down here. And that's going to give us 40... It's going to give us about 50 grand. That's not enough to go and buy the new trailer not quite I'd like to have enough to buy the new trailer but that's not quite enough to buy the new trailer so what I'll do is I'll use that lorry to drag these two trailers here all the way down there and I'm gonna unload that because what I can do after this so pull you over to here there. We're not going to do a chaser bin in the field just yet. We will eventually progress to a chaser bin in the field. So we now own this one. The cows are going to be waiting until after the next harvest, as you can now tell. And we're going to use this. Listen to him go. We're going to use this and we're going to take these... Oh, yeah, there goes the engine brakes. Fantastic. We're going to take this down to that rest. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. And for those of you wondering, the paid promotion notification that came up at the beginning of the video is because in the description down below, you will find a link to Fanatical. I have an affiliation with them. If you use that link, I will earn a small commission on anything that you choose to purchase. But that is all we have got time for. So if you have enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.